even people who I know who suffer Parkinson's suffer anxiety for which they find cannabis products useful. Any thoughts on the utility of cannabis with Parkinson's patients? From a medical standpoint, neurologic standpoint specifically, there really isn't the type of evidence-based medicine we like to have. I usually try to work with the patient if they have an interest in it, but I try to tell them to stay away from the THC component because that part of, of cannabis is the mind altering part. And we don't need that in a Parkinson's patient. You uh -huh. know, we don't need that to affect the way they're thinking, the way they're moving, their coordination or their judgment. So um, as far as the CBD component, the cannabidiol, everything that I've read about that is, is that it really is um, not harmful. There are actually brain receptors for cannabidiol, for that chemical. What I have found, those that, that stay with it is because it helped their anxiety um, or it helped them sleep. Um, and if, you know, if it does give them that confidence, we might wanna call that a placebo effect, but if it gives them that confidence that they're going to feel better and they do feel better. Placebo effect <laughs> is very large in the Parkinson's population. It's been documented many times in studies uh, Very where strong. Done, yeah, where they've done Very sham strong. brain operations and people have improved their gait and balance for up to six months afterward because they didn't know that they got the placebo. They never had any operation done except for maybe an incision and nothing was put in the brain. So there's a, there's a whole literature on Parkinson's uh, patients that have, with the placebo effect. And mm -hmm. if it helps, I'm all for it. Mm -hmm.